Hi everyone, I'm Pranita and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be learning how to make banana cream pie cupcakes. So let's get started. So these are the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. First here I have some plain vanilla cupcakes. I made this by using a store-bought cake mix and I followed their instructions and their measurements. I just uh, baked them for 16 minutes to 18 minutes and kept an eye on them so that I don't burn them and they came out wonderful. Uh, here I made them uh, ahead of time. I also have some raspberry jam. Now I'm using raspberry jam but you can use mixed fruit jam or berry jams or anything that you would like. This is just to add a nice citrusy flavor to this dish. And I have some orange juice here. This is just bottled orange juice. You can use fresh or just bottled as well. Uh, for coating the banana, you know, orange juice helps in preventing the blackening of the banana slices. This adds a nice creaminess to this dish. I'm going to show you guys how to make this custard, but uh, you can also use this uh, custard powder uh, that is sold in Indian grocery stores. You can buy that custard powder and make the custard a little bit thick. The texture of the custard should be if you take a spoonful and place it on top of the uh, custard, it should hold its shape, it shouldn't disintegrate into it. That means it's nice and thick and spreadable and you want the consistency like that. So next I'm going to show you guys how to make this custard. and. So these are the ingredients you're going to need to make the custard. First, here I have a combination of one teaspoon cornstarch, three tablespoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We are going to separate the egg whites and egg yolks here and I have one cup of milk. So three egg yolks for one cup of milk and remember one tablespoon each egg yolk. This is gonna add enough sweetness for the egg yolks and the milk. So first thing to do is to add the milk to a saucepan and just heat it up. Uh, bring it to a boiling temperature. We don't want it exactly boiling. And here mix the flour and the sugar and the vanilla extract. And then we are going to separate the egg yolks as well. And to separate the egg yolks, what you wanna do is just crack the egg and separate it You can use different techniques to separate it, but I just simply transfer the yolk from one eggshell to another and make sure to get as much as the egg whites out of the shell and then just dump the egg yolk right in and just keep doing that for all three egg yolks. So I have separated the egg yolks and here I have the egg whites. You can make a wonderful omelette with that. You don't have to throw it away. But what we are going to do with the egg yolks is that, that we are going to add it to the vanilla and uh, cornstarch and sugar mixture and give it a nice whisk and keep whisking it until it's nice and mixed together, well blended and it's nice and pale yellow. Meanwhile, on medium high heat, uh, my milk in a saucepan is coming to a boil and this doesn't take actually much time. As you can see the milk is nice and hot so I've chosen like a dish that is almost two fourth uh, bigger than the quantity of the milk and I have uh, mixed the egg yolk mixture for about five minutes now. Now if you go ahead and add the milk into the egg mixture it will just scramble the eggs. So what you want to do is temper the eggs a little bit. That means we're just gonna bring the temperature of the eggs a little bit higher and higher slowly. So we're gonna just add a little bit. Keep whisking. Don't stop whisking. And then once you add a little by little just about you know like you want to start with a tablespoon, then one fourth cup, then you go the half cup. Now you can comfortably mix in the rest of it. So reserve the saucepan. We're gonna we're gonna add the egg mixture into the saucepan. Put it back onto the stovetop, and now 
the cornstarch in this dish is gonna help thicken the dish so keep this dish as well because we are gonna pour it back into this dish and let it cool down so let's go ahead and uh, cook this custard up on the so now the stove is heating up and it's on medium heat you want to keep it from medium to medium high and you want to keep stirring this mixture and it doesn't rise up in quantity it just thickens beautifully but you do want to watch out that you want to keep stirring it and keep whisking it and you also want to watch out that after it thickens and it keeps boiling it's gonna splutter onto you so you want to just be make sure that you stand at a distance and you would easily notice in about like two to three minutes uh, it'll start thickening and as you keep whisking it gets from a consistency of a milk to a nice thick cut custard pretty quickly so after we transfer this into the dish we're just gonna create a ice bath ice bath is nothing but just dump some ice into a big bowl and just place the custard dish in it and let it cool down for about half an hour so that way it cools down quickly and then you can just pop it into the fridge so i think this is done i don't want it to burn so it's not quite as thick as the cooled one but it's three fourth of the way so it just thickens one fourth so this is done i'm gonna just transfer it into the previous dish which i have whisked the eggs in so to make a ice bath i've just added some ice to a larger dish and i have set the bowl in the center 30 minutes you don't have to stir and worry about forming a film because of the plastic wrap and after 30 minutes are up just put it in the fridge and let it chill after at least four to five hours and the more the better uh, the flavor of the custard just keeps getting better uh, so you can use it for any other recipes that you would like to or for making banana cream pie cupcakes so here I have uh, sliced the banana and before I put the banana pieces into the bowl I have put some orange juice on the bottom like about a tablespoon or so and then added the banana pieces and coated it so that keeps the bananas from blackening and I will also cut the cupcake into three parts so here I have all the ingredients set and I'm using the custard that I have made ahead of time. So first let's start with a little bit of orange juice. Just take a spoon and uh, place the bottom layer of the cupcake on the serving plate. You just want this becomes a very soft and moist cupcake so transferring this dish from one plate to another might get a little bit tricky and messy. So first you want to drizzle the orange juice onto the cake layer. And once you have done that, just go ahead and place a nice dollop of cream. This gives nice creamy texture to the cupcake. You can make them ahead of time. So that way you can just enjoy with your guests. And when it's time for dessert, all you need to do is just serve it up. So just take some pieces. A little bit of peak of banana is great because the guests would know what they are in for and they would know what they can expect. So since spreading the jam would be a little bit tricky at this point, we're gonna place the other layer and go with a little bit of more of the orange juice. And just drizzle slightly. Sometimes it might even run down the bananas. That's fine. You just wanna keep the flavor at this point you want to be a little bit more careful because the top layer might just slide right off of the bananas so you don't want to force the custard to spread and another layer of bananas awesome more fresh fruit the better you can add some grapes as well if you love the idea of the citrus flavor now that is done I have the top layer um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bread knife and take a little bit of jam and this jam is just adds tons of color and flavor and you can use some strawberry preserves you can also add to take the citrus level like uh, the orange juice level you can add some orange preserve or apricot preserve 
I just love the flavor of the jam that goes great with this dish and um, once you are done spreading the jam like this on the top layer just go ahead and top it off now on the top layer when you are eating it will get messy so on the top layer to add a little bit more creaminess so now we have created all three layers jam custard bananas and orange juice going through the flavors and layers and now, now I introduce one more awesome ingredient that is uh, this is whipping cream you can use freshly whipped whipping cream I'm using just this store brought whipping cream and all you need to do is to top it off top this cupcake with some awesome heavy cream so just shake it really well point the nozzle right where you want to start and voila you have an amazing cupcake that is quick to make and delicious. So here is the banana cream pie cupcake ready to be served. This is a very messy cupcake. You can serve it in a sundae cup or use and throw plastic cups as well. If you are serving it for a large crowd, you can do them ahead of time and enjoy. Thanks for watching. You can find this recipe and many more at booklesscooking.com. Thank you.